वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेकी कोट बडी आई होप यू आर लर्निंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल एंड प्लेसमेंट प्रिपरेशन इज आल्सो गोइंग वेल सो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम सूडो कोर्स क्वेश्चन दैट आर रिसेंटली आज इन एक्सचेंजर एग्जाम सो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सेम देन सूडो कोर्स विल हेल्प यू अ लॉट फॉर क्लियरिंग योर रॉन्ग राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चंस सो वी विल ट्राई टू uh cover 10 plus questions in this video right so let's start with the very first question so initially we have three integers p q r and then b r setting some values in p then q and then r and the values are p equals to 3 q equals to 7 and r equals to 9 right now at line number 3 what we are doing we are performing some operations and we are updating the value of p Right, so p will become one plus four. That means five. So I am directly writing five plus r. R value is nine as of now. So it will become fourteen. Right. Now in the next line again, we will have to update the value of p to p plus three. So we will take the latest value of p now. So it will become fourteen plus three and q. So q value is seven only. So fourteen plus three will become seventeen. Right. And this is bitwise end, and this is seven, right? So as this is bitwise end, so first of all we need to convert them into binary. Then we will take the end of these, right? So how we can convert seventeen into binary? So there is a shortcut trick that is eight four two one, right? But for seventeen we will require sixteen as well. This is nothing but two raised to the power zero, two raised to the power one, two raised to the power two, two raised to the power three, two raised to the power four, and so and so. As per your requirement, you can extend this series, right? Now, for making seventeen, what we will need sixteen plus one will be seventeen. So we will mark one and one here, and rest will be zero because we need to convert them into binary. That means we need to use only one and zero, right? Now for converting seven, so this is the binary code for seventeen, and now for converting seven, what we will do? Four plus two will become six. Six plus one will become seven. So it will all be one and one, and rest are zero zero. Now we need to take end. So end works like. Let me make the truth table of this. So suppose this is operand A, this is operand B, and this is the result, right? So if A is zero, B is also zero. So the result will be zero only if we are taking end of these, right? So if A is zero, B is zero. So the result will be zero only if A is zero or B is one. So the result will be zero only. And if both are one, so in that case the result will only one, right? So what we have seen here that here one and one, so it will become one. Zero and one will become zero. Zero one zero 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 one zero zero. So the so what it is? It is one only, right? So the output is one. Okay. So the current value of p is one, right? So from here in line number five, again we need to update the value of p by taking q and three. So q was seven as it was never been updated, and three. Plus q, so q is seven only. So now let's convert them seven and three into binary. Then we will take and then we will add seven and will update the value of p again. So what is the binary code of seven? I am writing here, right? So binary code of seven is zero one one and uh, sorry uh, eight four two one. So it will become one one one. And here zero and three is zero zero one one, right? So the output will be one one and rest are zero. So it will become three only. So this value will become three plus seven. It will become ten. So the last updated value of p is ten only, right? Now here we need to print p plus q plus r. So what is the value of p? Ten. Q is never been updated, so it is seven and r was nine. Right, so nine and seven will become sixteen. One will be carry, and it will be twenty-six. So twenty-six option number third will be the correct answer. I hope it is clear to you, and I hope you got the idea that how you can easily convert any decimal digit into binary. Right? Okay. Let's move on to the next question. And I will give this PPT in my Telegram group. So if you are not the part of Telegram community yet, then The link is given in the description box. You can join from there, or you can directly search on Telegram. Take your code, buddy, then you will find the group. And verifying by the logo, you have to join. Right? Okay. So the next question is again: We have three integers a, b, c, and 
A is having value 4, B is 3, and C is 10. Okay, so I am writing here A, B, and C. So A is 4, B is 3, C is 10. All right, so now from here, we need to update the value of C. So it will become B plus 12. So B was 3, plus 12 will become 15, now, plus B, it, 3. That means 15 plus 3 will become 18. So the current value of B is now 18. Uh, sorry, uh, C. Sorry, it, uh, it should be C. Okay. Now, again, we need to update the value of C to V and C. So, V was 3 only and C. So, C has been updated to 18 plus C. So, it is 18. Now, let's convert them into binary because this is the bitwise end operator. So, according to 8, 4, 2, 1. And here 16 as well because for 18 we will need 16. So 16 plus 2 will become 18. Rest are 0, 0. Right? Just a minute. Okay. Now uh, we need to convert 3. Right? So 3 will become just a minute. 3 will become 2 plus 1. So rest will be 0, 0 only. Here we need to take and that means if both the values are 1 and 1, then only that case it will return as 1. So it will be 0. It will become 1, 0, 0, 0. So what it is? It is 2 only. Right? So 2 plus 18 will become 20. So from here C is now 20. Now we will come into the if part. We will check for the condition C minus 5. So C is 20. 20 minus 5 will become 15 is less than 5 plus C. So 5 plus C value is 20. So it will become 25. So 15 is less than 25. Yes, it is. So we will come here into the if part and we will have to update the value of A, then again A, then again A. Right. So how we are updating the value of A? So I'm writing here at this time, right? So C and C. So what was the current updated value of C was 20 now? So 20 and 20 ZOR A. This is not power operator. This is or ZOR operator. So, A. A was 4 only. Right? So, now let's take the end of 20 and 20. So, it will become 20 only. Right? Because all the digits in binary will be same and same. So, 1 will be uh, 1 and 1 will be 1 and 0, 0 will be 0. So, it will be 20 only. 20, ZOR, 4. Right? So, uh, uh, let's convert them into binary. Then take the ZOR of these. 20 will be, I am writing here, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So, 16 plus 4 will become 20, rest are 0, 0. And for 4, it will be 1, 0, 0. Right? So, I am erasing this line because I need some space. So, it will become 0, 0, 1, 1 will be 0, 0, 0 will become 0, 1, 0 will become 1. Right. Why? Uh, here, because we are taking ZOR and ZOR works. If both of the operands are same, so in that case, it will return as 0. And if both of the operands are 1 or 0 or 0 or 1, that means both of the operands are different. So in that case, it will return as 1. So here, all these are same, but these are different 1 and 0. So it will become 1 only. So the answer will be 16. Right. So A value is now 16. Again, from here, we need to update the value of 8. 2 plus 7, that means 9. 9 plus B. So, V was never been updated yet. So, 9 plus uh, 3, it will become 12. Right? Again, we need to convert, uh, update the value. So, A equals to A, uh, A and 2. So, A was 16. Uh, sorry, A was 12 as of now. And 2 plus C. Right? Plus C. So, C was updated here. And it is 2. Sorry, it is 20. So, now let's check 12 and 2 plus 20. So, what will be the updated value of this? Let me take a razor and then. So, let's check for 12 and 20 now. So, we need to take 8, 4, 2, 1. So, 8 plus 4 will be 12 only. And for 2, it is enough. So, let's take the end of these. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. Right? So, it will become 0 plus 20 will become 20. Right? So, at last, A is now 20. I am writing here. And B is, uh, sorry, C is also 20. And B was never been updated. So, B was 3 only. Right? So, now from here, end if, and we need to print A plus B plus C. 
so it will become a plus b plus c that means 20 plus 20 will be 40 40 plus 3 will be 43 and 43 will be our answer you can cross check on the compiler because all the codes are cross checked on the compiler right so it will be the correct answer all right so let's move on to the next video and guys please see uh, if you like this video then please do consider subscribing the channel and share this video because this is 3 a.m when i'm shooting this video so it really takes time it really takes effort so if i'm putting efforts for you then please subscribe and please share the channel okay so let's move on to the next question so it is integer a b c and we have a equals to 8 b equals to 6 and c equals to 7 okay now we have for each c from uh, 2 to 5 Okay, so first of all, we need to in, come into for loop. So, it will be C equals to 2 and it will go till 5 and it is C plus plus. Now, A assigned 2 plus 10, I am writing directly 12 plus B. So, B was 6, so it will become 80, right? So, I am updating here my values, right? A, B, C. So, A is now 18, right? Now, uh, where I am? Okay. Now here there, there is an if condition and the condition is if B plus C. So V was 6 plus C. C is because we are in the for loop. So, so C will be taken as 2 is greater than C minus V. So 2 minus 6. So 6 plus 8. Uh, sorry 6 plus 2 will be 8 is greater than minus 4. Yes it is. So we need to continue. That means we need to skip this particular step or this particular iteration of the for loop. So, we will not go into the else part. Okay. So, now the control will go here and will increment the value of C to 3. Okay. So, it will be checked for the condition whether 3 is less than equals to 5. Yes, it is. We will come into the for loop again and it will become, uh, it will repeat the same procedure. A equals to 2 plus 12, uh, 2 plus 10. That means 12. Plus B. As B was never been updated. So, it will become C only. So, the A value will be remain as it is. Right. Again, this condition will be checked. So, this time, because we have updated the value of C. So, if condition will need to be checked again. B plus C. So, B was never been updated. So, 6 plus C. C is now 3. Is greater than C minus B. So, it will become. Okay. So, again. The condition will be false only, right? Because, uh, sorry, the condition will be true only because 9 is greater than minus 3. We will come here into the uh, if part. That means we need to again skip the particular step and again the control will go here. It will increment the value of C. So, C is now 4. Again, it will check for the condition. So, uh, the condition will be true only. We will come again here. Here, A value will remain as it is because uh, 12 plus B. So, B was never been updated. So, it will become 18 only. Again, if condition will be checked because B have updated the value of C. So, C is 4. Again, let's check for the condition B plus C. So, B plus uh, 4 is greater than uh, 6 minus 4. Again, it will be greater than this, right? So, again, we need to continue. That means C is now 5. Again, let's check for the condition. See, every time we need to iterate over the for loop because every time c value is updating so it might be a case that somewhere if condition will be false it cannot be false or it can be uh, false right so <laughs> both both are the possibilities we need to iterate over the for loop so c is now 4 we will uh, repeat the same procedure a value will uh, will not be updated so again now let's check for the if condition for the updated value of c so, C is now 5 now. I am updating here only. 5 and 5. Right. So, again the condition will be true only. So, we need to again continue. That means we need to uh, step forward. So, now here. I uh, Sorry. C value will be incremented. So, C value is now 6. It will check for the condition. This time the condition will be false. We will out of the for loop. And we will come here and print statement A plus B. So, A was 18. And B was 6, so the answer will become 24. But at every step, we need to iterate over the for loop because every time C value was updating again and again, that's why we need to check for the condition, right? Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is 
there are three values a equals to two so initially we will pass a as two b as seven and c as seven okay now there is a for loop and it will start from c value equals to four and it will go till seven and every time c plus plus and here what we are doing is b equals to six plus eight yes it is eight so six plus eight will become 14 directly so i'm writing directly plus a so a is two so it will become 16 right so b value is now 16 i'm updating here here we need to check for a condition if a is or c so a was two only is or c so c current value is four because we are in the for loop so it will become four and is less than c that means 4 so we need to convert them into binary then we will take the zor operation and then we will find whether the condition is false or true so let's convert them into binary so it will become 0 1 0 and 1 0 0 right so 0 0 will become 0 only 1 0 will become 1 1 0 1 will become 1 because zor works if both of the operands are different so in that case it will return 1 so it is nothing but 6 so 6 is less than 4 so the condition is false we will come here into the else part we will jump out of the loop that means we need to break the loop right so we will break the loop and we will come here return a plus b so a was 2 only plus b was 16 right so b was 16 so 18 18 will be returned or 18 will be the answer 18 question number 4 is clear now okay so let's move on to the question number 5 so we have a equals to 4, b equals to 8 and c equals to 11 and there is a for loop that will start from c value to uh, from 2 till 4 and every time it will check. So first of all it will check when c value is equals to 2. So it is uh, less than equals to 4. Yes it is. We will come into the for loop. We will update the value of a to b plus b. So b was 8. 8 plus 8 will become 16. Right. Now I am updating here that a value is now 16 if b is or c so if b is or c so v was 8 is or c we are in the for loop now so c will take as 2 is less than 2 so let's convert them into binary and check so it will be 100 0, 0. this is the binary code for 8 now for 2 it will nothing but 0010 0, 0, 0, right so let's check 0000011001 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. so it is nothing but 10 so 10 is less than 2 uh, this condition is false. We will come here in the else part and A assign A. That means A is 16 now. So A will be 16 only. Now from here B equals to C. So B equals to C. So we are in the for loop. So in for loop this time C value is 2. So B value will become 2 uh, uh, also. Uh, and from here we will come again on the uh, for loop and it will increment the value of c so c was previously 2 now it is 3 i am updating here now we will come here again a equals to b plus b so b was uh, 2 last time right take it as 2 here so b was 2 last time so this time i am again updating so 2 plus 2 will become 4 that means a is now 4 right a is now 4 and from here we need to take if b is or c is less than c Right, so V is or C. So V value uh, is, what was the V value? Last value is 2 is or C. So C is now 3 because we are in the for loop and value has been updated. So it is 3 is less than 3. Right, so let's take the ZOR of these. So it will be 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 1. So it will become 1, 0, 0. Yes, okay. So 1 is less than 3. So this time the condition is true. We will continue right we will continue that means we need to skip this particular step so we will skip this particular step and now c value equals to 4 but uh, is there any value that has been updated so b have changed yes a has been updated to 4 now let me erase this hodgepodge then we will start again Now for C equals to 4, we need to check now. Okay. Okay, so C equals to 4, it will check for the condition whether 4 is less than equals to 4. Yes, once again the condition is true, we will come into the for loop and it will V plus V. So V is 2, 2 plus 2 will become 4 only. 
right so a is now 4 again now here if b is or c so v was 2 is or c so c value is now 4 less than 4 so let's check so the binary code for 2 will become 0, 0, 1, 0, right according to 8 4 2 1 i am just uh, converting uh, okay and for 4 it will be 1 0 0 right and we need to take zor so zor will 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 and it will be 0 so it is the code for 6 okay so 6 is less than 4 this time the condition is false we will come into the else part a assign a that means a will be 4 only b assign c so c current value is 4 right so b will be 4 so i am updating here as well so 4 and 4 we have now and the control will go again here it will update the value of c to 5 it will check for the condition whether 5 is less than equals to 4 so this time the condition is false we will out of the for loop and at last we need to print a plus b so a was 8 oh sorry a was 4 b was 4 so 8 uh, 4 plus 4 will become 8 and 8 will be our answer answer is equals to 8 i hope it is clear to you okay all right so let's move on to the next question next question is quite tricky and quite long so uh, just pay some attention here just a minute okay so we have three integers p, q, r and initially what are the values p, q, r and 3, 4 and 4 are the values. Let me check here. Okay. Just a minute. 3, 4, 4. Yes, 3, 4, 4 are, are the values. And here we need to check for each r from 5 to 8 right so it will take it as as r equals to 5 and till goes till 8 and every time r plus plus and in this there is a condition that q plus r so q plus r is less than r minus q so in that case you need to continue okay so let's check for the condition 5 is less than equals to 8 yes the condition is true we will come into the for loop we will check if q plus r so q was 4 plus r was 4 is less than r minus q so r is 4 minus 4 so 4 plus 4 that means 8 is less than 0 it is false so we will come here at this part we will update the value of p to p plus 7 so p was initially 3 3 plus 7 will become 10 plus r so r was 5 in the for loop uh, sorry here uh, what we did is we took r is 4 but r is 5 in the for loop right so 4 plus 5 will become 9 is less than minus 1 so yes of course the condition is not true but we put the wrong value so sorry for the mistake anyways move here so it will become it will become 15 okay now here q equals to p plus p so p was 15 15 plus 15 will become 30 and from here the value has been updated so let me uh, erase the all other stuff and let me write the updated value of p equals to 15 and p equals to 30 and let me uh, erase this wala part okay it is making some kind of hodgepodge Now from here when the control will go, so R value will become 6. It will again check for the condition whether the condition is true or false. Yes, it is true because 6 is less than equals to 8 only. So again, let's check for the condition if Q plus R. So Q previous value was 3 plus R current value is 6 is less than R minus Q. That means 6 minus 30, right? So it will become 36 is less than minus 24. So it is not uh, uh, true, right? Because 36 is not less than minus 24. So we will come here at this part. We will update the value of P to P plus 7. So initially uh, or we can see previously P was 15. 15 plus 7 will become 22 plus R. So R current value is 6. So it will become 28. Now P has been updated to 28. Now here Q equals to P plus P. That means 28 plus 28, so it will become 56 and 56 will come here. 
okay the control will go again it will update the value of r and it will increment to 7 right so 7 is less than equals to 8 yes the condition is true we will come here into the if part again and let me erase it then we will check for further okay so we are in the if part so q value so q value was 56 plus r r current value is 7 so r minus q so 7 minus 36 again the condition is going to be false only uh, so we will come here at this part so we need to update the value of p to p plus 7 plus r so p previous value was 28 plus 7 plus r r current value is 7 so 28 plus 14 it will become 42 okay now from here q equals to 42 plus 42 because p plus p so 42 plus 42 will become i'm writing here 42 plus 42 2 and 2 4 4 and 4 8 right so it will become 84 so let me update them here as well 42 and 84 okay now let me again when control will go here and will increment so r 8 is less than equals to 8. Yes, once again the condition is true and we will check for the if condition. If q plus r, so q is 24 plus 8 is less than 8 minus, uh, sorry, here I quoted as 24 but it is 84. So 8 minus 84, once again the condition will goes wrong and will update the value of p to p plus 7, right? So previous value of p was 42. 42 plus 7 plus current value of r it is 8 so it will become uh, what it will become 8 plus 2 is uh, 10 plus 7 is 17 carry 1 so it will become 57 right uh, let me check right so after 57 now q value will be updated to p plus p that means 57 plus 57 that means 7 7 14 Carry will be 1, 5 and 5 will become 10, 11. So, it will be 1, 1, 4. So, 1, 1, 4 and here I can say 57. Again, when the control will reach here at R, so R value will be 9 now. Right? R value will be 9. So, this time this condition will be false. So, we will out of the for loop and we need to print P plus Q. So, what was the previous value of P? 57 and now Q value that means 1 1 4 so it will become uh, 7 and 4 11 so the carry will be 1 5 and 2 will become 7 and it will be 1 so 171 will be the answer and it is already compiled code so the answer is absolutely correct you don't need to worry about verification right so let's move on to the next question now and it is the last question for today because now I'm feeling sleepy Okay, so it is A, B, C and A equals to 7, B equals to 10, C equals to 9. Okay, A, B and C. So, A is 7, B is 10, C is 9. Alright, so here is a uh, for loop and it will start from 3 and it goes till 4. Okay, so C equals to 3 and here C less than 4 and C plus plus. Okay, A assign B. So, A is just assigning the value of B. That means A will now 10. Right? And here if B minus A. B is 10 minus A is now also 10 plus C. C current value is 3 in for loop is less than C plus B. So, C is 3 plus B is 10. Right? So, it will become 3 is less than 13. Yes, the condition is true. We need to skip this step. So, we will directly jump here. C value is now 4. 4 is less than equals to 4. Yes, the condition is true. We will A equals to V. So, as B was never been updated, so A value will become B. That means A value will contain 10 only. Let's check for the condition again because C has been updated now. So, the condition will be modified somewhere. So, B value is now 10 only and A value is also 10 plus C. So, C is 4 now is less than C plus B. That means 4 plus 10. So, it will cancel out. So, 4 is less than 14. Yes, the condition is true. We will skip this step and will control reaches here r value is uh, sorry c value is now 5 this time the condition will be false we will out of the for loop we will print a plus b so a was 10 b was also 10 so it will become 20 and 20 will be our final answer yes it is correct 
and i hope all the questions are clear to you right so if you have still doubts you can ask me in the comment section or on the telegram or on the instagram right so yeah that's all for today we will meet in the next video till then bye bye and take care